watcher style today i'm going to be doing an update on my collection i actually just finally acquired it i've been looking for it for quite some time and it's to be believed the one that got away that watch is the rolex 16610 lv sub So on my last collection update, I had mentioned that once upon a time, I had the anniversary sub, or like they call it, the Kermit. And uh, like an idiot, at that time, the Deep Sea had just been released, and I was kind of just thinking, wow, look at that sub on steroids, and I did a trade. That was actually the worst decision I did because I ended up selling my LV sub for six grand. Now, I thought it was kind of a deal because the, the Deep Sea at that time was retailing for 12,000. Well, you already know how I feel about the deep sea. So at the end of the day, I'm just happy to finally get it. Um, I waited for the right time and just, you know, it really just happens like that sometimes. Somebody came up, offered me the watch, a couple people had passed on it, and here it is. The one that was missing out of the collection of my steel sports models. That's the guy right there. Never been polished, all original insert, M serial. And overall, I'm just really pleased with it now. I have now the Coke, the Pepsi, my birthday sub, and the LV sub is back. So these watches are tricky. You know, there's a bunch of different ones. Some are going for 25,000, other ones are going for around nine grand. You know, you hear about that flat four issue, you know, on the insert, that's kind of a unicorn. It's not gonna happen. Uh, but an important thing when you're buying this watch is the insert, because you can't get the insert. They're just impossible to get. So I wanna mention that there's also two colors that actually comes in this, in this variation. There's two variations of the green. Um, there's one that's a little bit more of like an olive green and one that's a sharper green. Uh, I'm not really that picky with that topic. What I kinda of wanted was just to watch at the right price. If you guys don't know the difference between a regular sub and an LV sub, it's not just the insert. The dial is different. It's got the maxi markers, which pretty much the indicators are a bit thicker and bigger. The hands are also a bit broader. Obviously, it's got the green bezel, but just so you know, don't ever buy an LV sub just because of the insert. Make sure you notice that it has the correct dial and the reference number. This particular one does not have box and papers, but I really don't care. I was just trying to grab one at a good price before that moment passes. I mean, nowadays people are asking $12,000 for them. The one tricky thing about this watch that I see is that they're demanding a premium, but I don't really see them selling. All the guys that I know that have these for sale for $12,000 or $15,000, they're pretty much just holding them. So, you know, the prices are high, but I don't see them selling. So that's kind of where it's in this gray area of whether I should spend this much on this watch or not. I picked this watch up for 8,800 bucks, okay? It was a good deal, but it also kind of stings considering that I let go of mine, box and papers and complete for $6,000. But overall, I'm still content because I figure that if I buy this watch and I hold it long enough, at the bare minimum, I have my money there. What concerns me the most is the insert. I say it again. I don't mind it if it has a little scratch or something. What I don't want is the insert to be either A, replaced, the pearl broken or to be completely faded, you know? I mean, I'm into that vintage look, but not for this watch. This is not that old. So overall, I'm happy with the watch. I'm really excited I finally got it. What I'm gonna do to it is I'm gonna have it detailed. It's never been polished, but I'm gonna have it detailed once. That way it looks crispy. I'm not really trying to wear this watch too much. It's just something that I wanna have. It's one of those things, like the one that got away, but I finally got it back. Pretty much I compare all these older model sports model Rolexes to my old Chevys. I don't know why. I kind of feel like I just see them very, very similar. This particular car here, I've had it for 11 years. This is my 1967 Chevelle SS. I've done it fully, completely from top to bottom. It's got wheels, suspension, brakes, motors, air conditioning, digital dash, a little bit of everything. It's a hot rod, you know? It's American muscle. And that's kind of the way I feel about these subs. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish that I had a brand new insert. That's actually the first thing I did when I bought it. I ran to my watchmaker and I asked, 
would you be able to get me an insert? And he told me, absolutely not. Unlike my Pepsi and my Coke, I was able to get an original insert brand new. I'm just kind of picky with that stuff. I kind of wanted to be like crispy, but they told me no. Um, you could probably buy one online and I know a friend of mine has one, but he wants $1,700 for that insert. And you know, I want it to be crispy, but I'm not spending $1,700 on an insert. You know, I'm pretty much just happy with the watch. I'm happy it's bezel engraved and serial, fully linked. And the watch really has been in good condition. It's never been polished. The bezel has never been scraped up or nothing. Glass is minty. So I'm overall happy with it. And I swear to God, unless I absolutely have to, I'll never sell this watch like I did last time. So comment below how you feel about the LV sub. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric. Watch your style.